Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy, and today I was doing some thinking about some upcoming 3D printer releases and the success that some of them have had, such as Snapmaker. Its printer has gotten a lot of buzz. The Bamboo Lab H2C is on the horizon, and that is also capitalizing on this new frontier of consumer 3D printing, especially when it comes to multicolor and multi-material by virtually eliminating the purge waste and instead going with multiple tool heads or some type of nozzle swapping system is that definitely seems to be the way forward and through seeing those printers it really got me thinking about flash forge and the main question that i was thinking about is what happened to the flash forge guider 4 and the guider 4 pro now, if you haven't heard about these printers, I really would not blame you because we haven't heard anything about these printers for about six months now. We first started talking about it publicly, like back in April, and the Geyer 4 is basically the answer to anyone who wanted to have an 85X but just didn't like the small build volume that it has, 220 millimeters cubed. So... You get the Guider 4 and the build volume goes up significantly to 300 millimeters cubed. And it comes with the IFS multicolor or multi-material filament system. And it's pretty much what the pro version of the 85X would be. Kind of, sort of, not exactly, but, you know, it's like the next step up. And then from there, we have the Guider 4 Pro, which is a fully enclosed version to the Guider 4. And frankly, I think the Guider 4 should have been completely enclosed in and of itself. But that one, the Guider 4 Pro, is also a little bit more advanced. It doesn't come with the IFS, but it's compatible with it. It also has LiDAR, heated chamber. You know, it's the it's the top end of the consumer grade 3D printers that FlashForge would have on offer pretty much. But we don't know when they're coming out. They were supposed to come out this year, but it's been all silence. So I was going around trying to see if I could find anything about these printers. And like I said, the information is pretty scarce. If you go over to their wiki page, you can see that there is some placeholder uh, slots for the Guider 4 and the Guider 4 Pro. And this is where they would put all their guides and tips and tricks and different prints that you can make for these particular printers. But it was last updated on the 14th of August and you can't click through to them. It's just, you know, pictures of them. And then the other thing is some several weeks ago in the Orca Flash Forge Slicer, there were some updates that added profiles for the Guider 4 and the Guider 4 Pro and even some mystery thing. I think it was called like the Flash Forge A5. And I remember making a community post just asking, does anyone know about this? So what could that possibly be? Like, no one knows. Haven't heard anything about it since. So I don't know, whatever. But Guider 4, Guider 4 Pro, Profiles, and Orca Flash Forge. Still don't know when it's going to come out. And when you look on the U.S. at least version of Flash Forge's website as I record this video, don't see anything about it. However, if you go to the Middle East Flash Forge website, they actually do have a page up for the Guider 4. And it's up, it's up for pre-order and you can pre-order it. And as I scroll down here on the page, it says coming soon in the Middle East and start shipping in August of 2025. But as I record this, it is October of 2025. And obviously it's not out and we don't know when it's coming out. Still time before the end of the year. But then my hopes got a little bit more, well, shoved into the ground because Flash Forge is going to be um, at Formnext, which is this big 3D printing additive manufacturing convention that's going to be in Germany this year. And it's going to be in November. So Flash Forge is going to be there and they have some invitations out. And as I look at this invitation, this is what they are showcasing. We've got the 85X with the enclosure and then two of their more professional industrial 3D printers. One of these looks like a, like a resin printer. And then there's this other really big printer. But there's no mention of 
the Guider 4 or the Guider 4 Pro. No images of them. And we don't even see anything about the Flash Forge CJ270, which is their desktop friendly multicolor printer that uses a variety of like different resins to make full color models. Um, already know that there is a uh, market for that with Eufy making what they've managed to do. And this looked like it was something that could be very competitive and uh, very interesting as well. But it's just gone silent. And that is not on the image either for the invitation to form next at the Flash Forge booth. It doesn't mean that those things won't be there, but I would assume that if they were supposed to be out in 2025, and since form next takes place in November, then that would kind of be the time to really start pushing it and getting people to, you know, order it. If it's going to be pre-orders or if it's going to be, hey, it's out now, buy it now, we're going to ship it to you. You know, the holidays are coming. This will be the time to capitalize it, get as much of that consumer money as possible. But it, based on this, it doesn't look like that is going to happen. So it leads me to wonder what in the world is going on with those three promising products. And we all know what happened with the 85X. It came out a little bit too early. They had to do some upgrades to it. It was delayed for months. And then when they finally got their feet under them, they were able to ship those out. Now you can get them from Flash Forge. You can get it from Amazon. And uh, even Micro Center sells the 85X now. I saw a release for that. So that's pretty cool. So I'm wondering if something similar happened to the Guider 4 and Guider 4 Pro. They thought it was ready to turns out things didn't quite work out is it all ifs related i have no idea and maybe they had to sit back and delay i don't know but um i do think some type of mention or some type of update about these printers would be really really helpful just to keep them into the conversation because the competition is definitely not slowing down in fact they are starting to forge ahead like i said earlier with these tool changers and these nozzle swappers and stuff like that and then for everyone that's still just sort of using the one nozzle purge heavy multicolor multi-filament systems i understand that they probably can't just abandon them all at once right now but you know for the price they still can be very uh tempting for people to buy especially if you don't care about multi-color printing and you just want something that's going to automatically load the same filament that you already were going to use so that you don't have to swap it out or if you just want to have four colors or four materials just already loaded up and then you can just choose between each one and you're not too concerned about purge so it doesn't make these systems completely obsolete it's really more of a use case kind of a thing but it is a direction that uh, i think that the entire industry should definitely be headed towards um they can do it in different ways but still the whole having a bucket full of purge in the back of your printer because you wanted to print something in more than one color i think those days are starting to definitely be on the decline but um yeah flash forwards definitely you got to say something about this um i know that these were printers that people were interested in and the longer that you kind of go without saying anything about it or providing any kind of updates about it more people are going to think that it's either uh, some big problem with it or maybe it's not coming out or maybe they canceled it but either way they'll be looking for this company and that company and that other company's products to take the place of what they were considering buying from Flash Forge. So that's going to do it for now. Uh, let me know down in the comments if the Guider 4, Guider 4 Pro popped into your head at any point within these last few months. And if Flash Forge were to come out today or tomorrow and say, hey, Remember these printers? They're ready and they're coming out at the end of this year. It makes this video completely irrelevant, but would you be interested in picking them up if the price was decent? So until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.